A famous and well-known verse in the New Testament is Romans 8, 28. God works all things together for good for those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. That's a big statement, working all things together for good. This is Jackie for rx for joy I'm in Ethiopia and we're about to celebrate Easter. Let me tell you a story. There was a man, I'll call him Thomas, and he was strong, he was healthy, he was prosperous, but he did not believe in Jesus. In fact, he said, I don't want to hear anything about him. But then he got very, very sick and he began to lose his mental and his physical well-being. This went on for a number of years. And then he began to realize that he was nearing his end of his life. He went into the hospital and a son came and talked to him again about Jesus. And this time he said, I believe in Jesus, please pray for me. Wow, that was a wonderful good news. This reminds me of a story in the Bible. There was a man who was very, very sick. And in fact, his friends put him on a, like a cot and carried him to find Jesus. But they couldn't get into the house, so they carried him up on the roof, made an opening and lowered him down to Jesus. And Jesus responded by saying, your sins are forgiven. Oh, there was a gasp in the crowd and probably with his friends. They had brought him to be healed, to be made physically well. But Jesus knew the real need in this man's life. Then he knew what was the priority, the first thing. He needed his sins forgiven. You see, he could have been made well. He could have got up, walked away, and been fine, but if he died, eventually he would still go to hell. Our eternal life is so much more important than our well-being in this world. You know, we can desire a comfortable, healthy, easy life. We can be prosperous and happy, but if our sins are not forgiven, then we will still go to hell. So God uses hard things like physical uh, problems like being really sick or the fear of death. God uses these hard things to work together for good. They work together for good to, so that we seek God and find his grace and his forgiveness. So my message today is that God is at work and we may not understand what he's doing, but he can take all the bad and hard and painful things in our lives and work them for good. It's a spiritual work and we may not even see what's happening in someone's heart that is around us or in our own heart. But I trust Romans 8, 28. God will take all things and work them for good. When we think of Easter, we think of Jesus suffering, dying, and that was all worked together for good for us so that our sins could be forgiven and we could have new life. I think of my friend, if he had not suffered, he may never have come to trust in Jesus. He might have had a great life as far as this world, but eternity is what really counts. So I am so happy this Easter. We can celebrate a new life and we can say, hallelujah, Christ is risen.